Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I'm very excited to share with you this new model Indic Parlor TTS. And I'm also very grateful to all of you guys who have been messaging me since morning to cover this model as this was just released and I really truly grateful for the expectations you have for the channel that I will be covering it. So yes, in this video we are going to install this Indic Parlor TTS and we will also play around with it live local all for free before i do that let me give you a quick overview of this model and why there is a bit of an excitement around this model so this model is a multilingual indic extension of parlor tts model or parlor tts mini to be exact i already have covered parlor tts on my channel from various angles like seven to eight months ago as you can see here Parlor TTS is one of the best models out there when it comes to text to speech. That is why I'm quite excited to share this Indic Parlor TTS, which is not only based on Parlor TTS, but also it is Indic language. Indic language is, are the languages from uh, Indian subcontinent, which includes a lot of countries, of course, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and few others. This model supports 20 Indic languages, which is really, really comprehensive and covers a lot of beautiful languages from the region, including uh, Assamese, Bengali, Bodo, Dogri, English, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Konkani, Meth uh, Methli, Malayalam, Manipuri, Marathi, Nepali, Odia, Sanskrit, Santali, Sindhi, Tamil, Telugu, and Urdu. My apologies if I haven't pronounced few of the names uh, correctly, but all of these are amazingly beautiful languages and millions of people speak it. And that is why I'm so excited that now AI is really uh, going to the ground level at the regional level. What a fine, fine development. Also, it offers uh, a very, very improved prompt tokenizer because it can also be extended to other languages, which is quite good. So, for example, if you are, uh, if you have any language which is not present here, you can easily extend it because we know that there are hundreds and hundreds of languages which are spoken in that uh, Indian subcontinent. Okay, so another cool thing about this model is that it accepts two primary inputs, which I will also show you when we install it locally, and. It also uh, has compatibil compatibility for speaker diversity. It supports 69 unique voices across the supported languages, which is quite good. Also, it allows you to do the emotion rendering for 10 of the languages, which I just mentioned. And most of the languages are quite well known. Also, the av available emotions are like command, anger, narration, conversation, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, and we will also test it out. And then there is also accent of flexibility, uh, which you can mention like um, a female Gujarati speaker or um, a male, maybe Pakistani speaker, something like that. And there are a lot of other good stuff uh, happening in this model, like it really uh, offers you a precise control over reverberations, expressivity, pitch, and a lot of other things. Okay, I'm not going to bore you more with theory. Let's go and try to get it installed. Also, before that, let me give a huge shout out to our very good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on a very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of uh, GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me first create a virtual environment with Conda. Let's wait for it. And that is done. Let me install some of the audio libraries. And don't worry about the commands. I'm going to put all of the commands I'm going to use. Uh, in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. And now let's install some of the prerequisites which include Torch, Torch Audio and a lot of other things, Transformers, all the usual suspects. This is going to take a, uh, four to five minutes, so let's wait. And all the prerequisites are done. Let's install Parler TTS, which is a very simple pip command from the source of the repo. 
And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook and then we will use this model in the Notebook browser environment. And now let's download the model. So you see that we are getting two tokenizers, one is for description and one is for prompt. And the model has started downloading and as usual the TTS models are not that huge. It is just under 4K which is quite good. Which means that you can even use it on um, your CPU. And the model is downloaded and while downloaded you see that this is where model got downloaded and then we got some of the messages around tokenizer and these are the tokenizers. Okay so let's do the inference. For the inference the good thing is that it reads the prompt and then it selects the language automatically. So this is something in Hindi and the description is that a female speaker delivers a slightly expressive and animated speed with a moderate speed and pitch. Let me make it in multi-line so that we could read it and it says the recording is of very high quality with the speaker's voice sounding clear and very close up and then there are similarly we are using it the token tokenizer to decode both the prompt and descriptions with both tokenizers and then model is generating the output and then we are decoding it back and then writing it in this wav file locally so and this prompt this is in hindi i can't really read it so i just used google translate it says hey how are you today so let's run it okay so it was very quick and it has generated this index underscore tts uh, underscore out on my local system because i'm uh, remotely connected to it so my speakers are not present on this one so i have moved it to my local system and let me play it out for you there and remember it says hey how are you but that is translated into hindi because the prompt was in hindi in the female voice so look uh, hindi is correct um, hey how are you so it is i would say that it's a pass maybe uh, the um, you know a bit of an accent but i think it's a female pitch voice quite close up everything looks good to me so if you look here it says how are you today so it has totally expressed it right okay so let's try out a few more examples okay so in the next one i am giving it another one let me quickly show you the vram consumption and then i will explain so you see just it is using over 4 gig of vram that's it Okay, so now in this one, I have given it a Hindi prompt and then I am asking it the, and the description is that Divya's voice is monotone yet slightly fast in delivery said with a very close recording that almost has no background noise. It is a bit longer and this translates in Hindi to this that why is it so difficult to find true love? I am married with five children and I am still looking for true love. Let's see. So it has generated something let me move it to my system and then i will play it okay now listen to this sacha pyar pana itna kathin kyun hai main shaadi shuda hu aur meri bache hain aur main abhi bhi sachi pyar ki talash mein hu okay it's too funny um the thing is that i'm not sure if it's a male voice or devious voice maybe an older voice i think maybe the model is too intelligent because of five kids and you know get the children by the way I didn't say five anyway so maybe just try to make it the voice bit older or aged um, but it's a sort of a neutral voice i think that is what we said in the prompt let's go to the prompt and you see not only we are saying that it's a monotone but there's a tinge of hint of sadness it's a very close recording without any background noise. Okay, so these are the Hindi ones. Let's try out few other languages. Now in this next example, I have given it a Tamil prompt. And in Tamil, this Tamil prompt, it translates to uh, a very famous dialogue by one of the legendary actors in South of India, Rajni Kant. The dialogue is something like if you say something even once it will be taken as if you said it a hundred times so i have translated it from english to tamil and then i have pasted it here now on their model card they have shared few voices around every language 
I couldn't find any male voice, so I have just gone with Jaya's voice, which is high pitched, engaging, bit of an anger tone, which is a expression I'm trying to convey here. I mean, the purpose was to do the aggressive one, but I'll go with the anger one in this one. So let me play it for you. And if you are a Tamil speaker, please let me know if it is correct or not. <laughs> What do you think? So, beautiful language, I don't understand it, but please let me know if it is correct or not. Okay, let's try out now Urdu. And now in this final example, I am testing out Urdu. And in the Urdu, the uh, comment is or the prompt is Urdu adab ki baat ki jaye to hum mushtaq Ahmad Yusfi ke dor mein jee hai. What it means is in English is that we are living in an era of Mushtaq Ahmad Yusfi when it comes to Urdu literature. Those who don't know Mushtaq Ahmad Yusfi, I believe he is one of or maybe the best Urdu uh, writer ever. And Urdu is a national language of Pakistan. It is also spoken very, very frequently in India, a lot of other parts of the world. I believe uh, that, you know, this person Mushtaq Ahmad Yusfi who has passed away is one of the best writers ever when it comes to Urdu. Uh, I don't think so, you know, there will be anyone else like him. I don't think so even LLMs can write like him. Anyway, so someone has said about him that, you know, we are living in an era of Mushtaq Ahmad Yusfi when it comes to Urdu humor. So I missed that, but I just, I think that even for the whole Urdu literature, he is the best. And then for the description, I am saying a young male speaker with a high pitch and expressive tone. The recording is clear, showcasing his calm and emotive voice. So let me play that for you now. Let me take you there. Urdu Adam ki baat ki jaye, to hum mushtaq Ahmed Yusufi ki dor mein jee rahe. So I would say it's not bad. It has totally perfectly said it right. Uh, you know, the, but the tone and tenor is bit because I don't think so. There is a native speaker mentioned in their model card for Urdu. So I just took a Hindi speaker and used it as the Urdu speaker. And you can get the list of which speakers are suited for which language in their model card. But other than that, I think a very, very impressive model. I wish I had the time to cover all of them, but there are a lot of them and, you know, I might do another video where we will try it out and other ones. But I think A for Bharat has done wonderfully well with this model. Uh, kudos to them. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.